Welcome, my friend. We have worked our way from bottom to top in the Body Love series, starting with your hamstrings and psoas, then your quads and glutes. Last week, we loved on your core and your back, and this week, we are honoring, celebrating, stretching your shoulders and neck. These are critical to our mobility and peripheral awareness. Let's marvel at what our shoulders and neck allow us to see all around. In today's practice, we'll be loving on your shoulders. If you'd like the stretch and strength yoga practice for your neck, plus all the other body love practices, hop over to our Awakened member site and check it out with our 14-day free trial. You will need one yoga block for our practice today. I'll join you seated on the mat. Today's practice was filmed in the majestic Big Sur, California, among the redwoods. Let's find a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Hands relax wherever is comfortable and gently close your eyes. Inhalation through your nose, reaching up through the crown of your head. On your exhalation, relax your shoulders back and down, softening away from your ears. Smooth breath in, feeling your belly, ribs, and chest expand. Exhalation, your chest, ribs, and belly soften. Smooth inhalation. Exhalation, let go and release. Muscles, tendons, and ligaments combine to keep your arm bone in your shoulder socket. There are about eight shoulder muscles attached to the shoulder blade, upper arm, and your collarbone. These muscles form the outer shape of your shoulder and under your arm. So there are many other muscles that play part in stabilizing and guiding your shoulder and its movement. Smooth breath in. Exhalation, invite the area of your shoulder blades to glide down your back, drawing towards one another, creating space between shoulders and ears. Smooth inhalation. Exhalation, invite your collarbone to broaden and smile. Continue these smooth, beautiful breaths, inviting your body to soften your muscles to have this present moment here on the mat to let go and be in complete stillness. The shoulder muscles are responsible for maintaining the widest range of motion of any joint in your body. This flexibility also makes the shoulder prone to instability and injury. So as we flow today, have this deep connection with your body listening to what it needs and honoring what it tells you, not pushing yourself to extreme, but rather meeting your body right where it's at, developing a healthy relationship with your amazing body. Inhalation, reach up through the crown of your head. Exhalation, shoulder heads draw back and down. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, lower your chin towards your chest. Inhale, circle your right ear to your right shoulder. Pause. Exhalation, slowly circle chin back to chest. Then left ear to left shoulder. Pause. Exhalation, slowly circle down and over to the other side. Inhale as you lift. Shoulder heads remain square, relaxed away from your ears. One more, circle down, eyes closed, connected with your body. Exhale, lower chin to chest. Inhale, lift up to center. And take three shoulder rolls here in one direction on your own, feeling into it. Three shoulder rolls in the opposite direction, really accentuating the movement. Last one. Let's breathe in, squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears, squeeze and lift, lift, lift. Exhale, drop them down. Breathe in, feel as though you're scooping your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, let them fall. One more, breathe in, scoop your shoulders up to your ears, squeeze. Exhale, drop. Now mirroring me, extend your left arm out long and cross it over your body to the right side. 
Opposite hand comes below or above the elbow joint to gently guide your arm towards your body. Check in with your left shoulder, noticing if it is squeezed up to your ear. Now, if so, just relax it back and then down, noticing how this affects the sensation of the stretch. Option to lower your right ear towards your right shoulder, inviting a gentle neck opening. Smooth and even breath. On your next in-breath, lift your head up to center, release your arm and extend it up to the sky, then bend at your elbow to lower your hand behind your head. Opposite arm sweeps up to grasp your elbow and gently guide it down, listening to your body and honoring the depth of the stretch it needs from you today. You also have the option, if it's accessible in your body, you can sweep your hand down behind your back and clasp the opposite fingertips. If you have tight shoulders, this may not be accessible and that's okay. With consistent practice, your body will open with time, patience, and love. I like to nestle my head into my forearm and gently press back into my forearm to stay open and broad. Let's release your right fingertips to the mat at your side. Breathe in. Exhale to extend your left fingertips to the sky and then over to the right side for a side body stretch. On your next exhale, slowly fan your top arm down, bringing your hand to your right knee. Breathe in to sweep your right hand to your left knee. Then we'll exhale to round back in your spine. Maybe even shifting your weight back to deepen the stretch in your upper back body, chin tucks to chest. Beautiful. Big breath in to sweep your fingertips to the sky. Exhalation, cactus your arms, elbows drawing wide side to side as you slowly lower them down. Let's take that sequence to the other side by extending your right arm out long, then cross it over your body. Opposite hand comes below or above your elbow joint to gently guide your arm towards your body. Let's check in with that right shoulder Noticing again if it's squeezed up to your ear, and if so, just relax it back and down. Option to lower your left ear to your left shoulder. A feel-good neck opening. Smooth and even breaths. On your next in-breath, lift your head up to center. Release your arm and extend it up to the sky. Bend at the elbow to lower your hand behind your head. Opposite arm sweeps up to grasp your elbow and gently guide it down. Now remember you have the option to explore releasing your elbow and taking your hand down behind your back to clasp the opposite fingertips. You might find that you were able to do it on the first side, but not this side or vice versa. I personally find this side is a little tighter than the first side. Find beauty in being able to notice the subtleties of your body. Send your in-breath into any tightness or resistance you may be feeling. Let's release your left fingertips to the mat at your side. Breathe in and exhale to extend your right fingertips to the sky. Then over to the left side for a side body stretch. On your next exhale, slowly fan your top arm down. Bring your hand to your left knee. Breathe in to sweep your left hand to your right knee. Exhale to round back in your spine. Shifting your weight back if you'd like to deepen the stretch. Chin lowers to chest. Now let's take a big beautiful breath and sweeping your fingertips up to the sky. On your exhalation, cactus your arms wide side to side, elbows drawing back in space as you slowly lower them down to the mat. Make your way to hands and knees, and then towards the back of the mat. Let's tuck all 10 toes and lower your hips to your heels, giving your toes and your feet some love. 
Find your beautiful long spine and interlace your fingers behind your low back. Draw your interlace fingers down and then press them away to the space behind you to lift your gaze. Take it into a mini back bend. Big breath in, shining your heart, opening your shoulders before you exhale, hinge forward at your hips as you lower your crown of head to the mat. Your hips will lift as your interlaced fingers reach up and overhead and then press them away to the space in front of you. Take five breaths here, feeling this wonderful opening of the back of the heart. Good. To release, slowly lower interlaced fingers back as you lower your hips to your heels. Release interlaced fingers to rest them alongside your body. Untuck your toes, tops of feet release to the mat. For a moment here in child's pose, feeling the effects of the mild inversion into the opening within your body. Now let's round forward and make your way to hands and knees. From here, we'll take a few cat cows on your own now, since we are focusing on our shoulders, close your eyes and as you flow, notice the roll of your shoulders and flowing from cat to cow. While also tapping into how this simple movement of cat and cow stretches and opens your shoulders. Explore cat and cow, seeing if you can deepen the sensation of the shoulder stretch, or maybe you find a subtle movement that hits just the right spot and you want to hold it there. Be present with your breath as you flow, sinking your breath with the movement. Find your neutral spine. Ensure knees are under hip points and slowly walk your palms forward as you melt your heart towards the earth. Forehead kisses the earth. Press your chest towards the earth while keeping both arms active. Your ears come in line with your biceps. Elbows are lifted off the earth. Five breaths. Feeling your rib cage expand front to back and side to side. Exhalations further deepen into the stretch. Last few breaths, you can explore bringing your chin to the mat, taking your gaze between your thumbs. If this doesn't feel safe or it crunches your cervical spine on your body by softening, lowering your forehead back to the mat. Beautiful. From here, press into your forearms so slowly shift forward, lowering your torso all the way to the mat for Sphinx pose. We'll line your elbows under your shoulders and then your middle finger in line with your elbows. If you feel any pinching in your low back, you can walk your elbows forward. And alternatively, if you wanna deepen the back bend, you can walk your elbows closer towards your body. You wanna rock your hips side to side, really grounding down into the earth. Keep the chin and chest elevated. Shoulder heads draw back as your heart center reaches forward and shines bright. And as you breathe, feel that rib cage expand front to back and side to side, breathing deeply. On your next exhale, slowly lower yourself to the mat. Extend your left arm out long to the left side in line with your shoulder. We'll take your gaze to the right side, then bring your right fingertips to the mat. And when you're ready, press into your fingertips to lift, stacking your right hip on top of your left. You can take a slight bend in your knees for a wider foundation. Now, if you'd like to explore taking it deeper, you can slowly guide your right toes behind you to the earth. Wherever you find yourself, we'll take five breaths. 
connecting with your body and enjoying the sensations of this pose. If toes are behind you, slowly lift them back up and extend leg long to lower yourself back to the mat. Second side. Extend your right arm out to the side in line with your shoulder. Take your gaze to the left side, left fingertips to the mat. When you're ready, go ahead and press into those fingertips to stack your hips left on top of your right. Explore what variation feels best in your body on this side with your legs. Once you've found your body's variation, close your eyes. Feel into your body. Five breaths. Noticing if the sensations you experience on this side are any different than that on the first side. Appreciating the wonder and exploration you can have with your body. Discovering your uniqueness and what makes you, you. If toes are behind you, slowly lift them back up and extend leg long, lowering yourself to the mat. Slide palms under your shoulders and make your way to downward facing dog. Now this is our first downward facing dog of the practice. And my friend, I want you to make it completely your own. You close those eyes and listen to what your body needs and move in a way that is calling to you. Our bodies communicate with us. So cultivate this connection and relationship with your body on the mat to help you carry these practices with you off the mat and into your everyday. Last breath here. Glance to the front of the mat to step your left foot forward. Ensure your front knee is in line with your ankle and not going past. Feet are on two separate tracks, back toes tucked. On your inhale, sweep your fingertips up to the sky. Low lunge, hips square, thighs scissor. Shoulders square, front ribs knit together. Option to reach your fingertips back, taking this into a back bend, gaze lifts. That morning sunshine was coming through the trees and felt so wonderful and warm upon my face. I had a hard time moving out of this pose, but as I'm flowing with you, let's sweep your arms wide side to side and then bring your hands to prayer behind your back. If this feels too much for your body, you can clasp opposite elbows behind your back instead. Roll your shoulder heads up and back. Elbows drop back in space. Lift your gaze. Beautiful. Let's soften. Breathe in, sweep fingertips up to the sky. Exhalation, hands lower to frame your front foot. Press up and then lower your back heel to the mat at a 45 degree angle, feet on two separate tracks. And when you're ready, rise and reach your fingertips to the sky for warrior one pose. Now we'll sweep your fingertips down to interlace behind your low back. And just like we did earlier, Draw your interlaced fingers down and then press them away to the space behind you as you lift your gaze, taking it into a back bend. Big breath in and on your exhale, bow forward, hinging at your hips into humble warrior pose. Interlaced fingers circle up and overhead, pressing away the space in front of you, falling towards the earth. Legs are strong and engaged. On your next in breath, ground down through your soles of feet to rise. 
interlace, fingers reach back once more, and then releasing fingertips, circling them to the sky. Back heel pops up, square your hips, and then lower your back heel to the mat once more, this time making it parallel with the short edge of the mat, opening to the side of the mat. Let's bring your toes in and heels out. Arms open wide from here, preparing for ankle arms. So sweep your left arm underneath your right and then bind your arms once or twice, whatever feels best in your body. Tuck chin to chest, elbows lift, hands press into one another while also pressing away to the space in front of you. Bend into your right knee as you sway your torso to the right and then sway your body to the left, bending into your left knee. Take this slow sway side to side. A nice little yogi dance going on here. Now as you sway side to side, bend a little more deeply into your knees as you start to hinge forward. Take your time, find your rhythm, enjoy the movement and the opening. Getting into those legs, getting into your shoulders. Feel it out. Again, to slow your sway down once you are fully fo folded forward. Settle into stillness at center. Legs are extended as you fold forward. With control, unwind your arms, bringing fingertips to the mat. Inhalation, lift, finding your flat back. Walk fingertips towards the back of the mat. Back toes point to the back of the mat, hands frame foot. And then we'll lower your knee to the mat, finding your low lunge on the second side. Ensure your front knee is in line with your ankle and not going past. Now feet are on two separate tracks, back toes tucked. Inhale, sweep fingertips to the sky, hips square. Your thighs, scissors squaring your hips up, shoulders square. Front ribs knit together, option to reach your fingertips back, taking it into a back bend, gaze is lifted. Sweep your arms down wide side to side to bring prayer behind your back. Again, you have the option to clasp opposite elbows instead if taking prayer is too much on your body. Just honor what your body needs in this moment. Once you have it, roll your shoulder heads up and back, creating space. Elbows draw back. Lift your gaze. Beautiful. Let's soften. Breathe in to sweep fingertips to the sky. Exhalation, hands frame foot. We'll press up and then lower your back heel to the mat at a 45 degree angle. Ensure your feet are on two separate tracks for a wide stance. When you're ready, rise and reach your fingertips to the sky. Square your hips and shoulders to the front of the mat. Go ahead and sweep your fingertips down to interlace behind your low back. Draw interlaced fingers down and then press them away to the space behind you. Lift your gaze, back bend, breathe in. And on your exhale, bow forward, hinging at your hips into humble warrior. Those interlaced fingertips circle up and overhead. Legs are strong, engaged. On your next in breath, ground down through your soles of feet to rise up, interlace fingertips, reach back once more, then release circling fingertips up to the sky. Your back heel pops up, square your hips, and then lower your back heel to the mat once more so it's parallel with the short edge. Opening to the side of the mat once more, let's bring your toes in and heels out, arms open wide, this time sweep your right arm underneath your left and bind once or twice. Honor what your body needs on this side. We'll tuck chin to chest, lift your elbows, hands press into one another while also pressing away to the space in front of you. And from here, bend into your left knee as you sway your torso to the left, then sway your body to the right. Right knee bends. You know what to do from here. Take that slow sway side to side, finding your yogi dance. Take your time, finding your rhythm. 
enjoying the movement, the opening it provides your body. Getting into those legs, into your shoulders, feel it all out. Begin to slow your sway down, keeping a generous bend in both your knees. Really sink your hips towards the earth. Run straighten your legs and with control, unwind your arms, fingertips to the mat. Inhalation, lift halfway, flat back. Fingertips walk towards the front of the mat. Toes open to the front of the mat, hands frame foot. Bend into your back knee to step to the front of the mat. Release yourself into a forward fold. Allow your body to relax in your forward fold. Your next in breath, lift halfway. Nice flat black crown ahead reaches forward. Exhalation, melt forward. Breathe in, circle fingertips down around and up. Palms kiss, reach back, take it into a back bend before you dive it down through center. We'll step one foot back and then the other for plank pose. Take your flow, I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Lower knees to the mat and make your way into a wide knees child's pose with arms extended long. Smooth breath in through your nose, feeling the oxygen nourishing your body. Long, slow exhalation, letting go of what no longer serves you. Let's round forward and find your tabletop pose. Wrist line under your shoulders, preparing for a dolphin to open and strengthen. Lower your elbows to where your wrists were. Palms lower to the mat, forearms run parallel, or you can bring your palms into center and interlace your fingers. Whenever you are ready, you'll tuck your toes and lift your hips towards the sky. Feet do not need to be walked in at all. You can keep that nice wide stance. As you hold this, make sure you're pressing down through your forearms to keep a lift in your shoulder girdle, no collapsing, nice open space here. Gently press your torso through center. And from here, on your next exhale, shift forward, coming into a forearm plank pose. Inhalation, lift your hips to dolphin. Then we'll exhalation, intentionally shift forward into your forearm plank pose. Inhalation to lift to dolphin. Exhalation, intentionally shift forward for plank pose. Good work. On your inhale, lift to dolphin pose. Then exhalation, come forward into forearm plank pose. Inhalation, press up to dolphin. One more, shift forward into plank. Lift those hips to dolphin. Now we're gonna hold dolphin here for five powerful breaths. You got this. And with control, lower your knees to the mat and take child's pose. Feel into your body. Feel into the effects of this practice upon your body. Notice how the work you have done has affected your heartbeat, the rhythm of your breath, the temperature of your body, the energy of your body and of your spirit. And then we'll round forward, tuck your toes to lift to down dock. Shift forward, coming into our final plank pose. Body in one long line from heel to crown of head. 10 breaths here. This is the plank pose we are taking in every body love sequence to check in and see what each area of your body does for you in holding this very powerful and effective pose. So in your final breaths, check in with your shoulder muscles to feel into how they are supporting you in plank pose. Good work. 
lower halfway chaturanga big beautiful breath and upward facing dog heart shines bright and lift your hips to downward facing dog this is the final down dog of the practice so take whatever feel good moves are calling to your body let's shift forward into plank pose and lower yourself all the way to the mat we're taking our yin pose of the practice, bow tie. This is when that one yuka block will come in handy. So grab that if you haven't already. I had to improvise with a log from a tree as I left my yoga blocks in the vehicle. So thank you, Adam, for your help. The prop will be used to rest your forehead too. So bring it horizontal in front of you where your forehead will be. Now we will thread your arms. So let's start with lining your right forearm in front of your left and then thread your arms so that the fingertips are reaching in opposite directions. Crossing as far as you comfortably can, separating the shoulder blades, and then rest your forehead to the block. Test which height works best for you, or maybe even the earth. We'll keep your palms face up to the sky. Relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. We'll be holding this for about three minutes, so make sure you feel comfortable, supported, and in love. Allow your body, your muscles to completely relax and let go. No muscular holdings. You may find it helpful to scan your body throughout the hold to keep everything relaxed and stay present in your body. With each exhalation you take, Invite your body to soften and melt deeper into the pose, tending to the connective tissues in your shoulder muscles. You may even take time while holding this pose to reflect and appreciate all that your shoulders do for you day in and day out. Lift to slowly and lovingly unwind your arms. Then we'll switch, bring your left arm in front of your right. We'll thread your arms through so fingertips reach in opposite directions, palms face up. And go ahead and cross them as far as you comfortably can, feeling how it creates space between your shoulder blades. And then rest your forehead to a block, adjusting it as needed. Relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. Make sure you feel comfortable, supported, and loved on this side, allowing you to hold this without fidgeting so your body, mind, and spirit can be in complete relaxation. Allow your body, your muscles to completely relax and let go. 
You may scan your body throughout to keep everything relaxed and to help stay present in your body. With each exhalation, invite your body to soften and melt deeper into the pose. All right, my friend, lift to slowly and lovingly unwind your arms. And then we'll roll over to lying on your back. Moving into our final resting pose, Shavasana. Breathe in. And on your exhalation, allow everything to soften and relax, feeling the weight of your body fully supported by the earth beneath you. We'll take 10 breaths here in Shavasana, allowing the nutrients of our shoulder practice to settle in and integrate. Bring one sole foot to the mat and then the other. Draw knees into your chest and take a slow rock side to side. Settle into stillness. Roll over to your right side. Full deep breath in through your nose. And a long, slow, complete exhalation out your nose. And with your eyes closed and attention inward, make your way to a comfortable seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Eyes closed. Hands relaxed wherever is comfortable. Take a moment now to feel into your body, feel into the effects of our practice, feel into your shoulders.
big breath in, circling fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss, and bring all that love and light down to heart center. Thank your shoulder muscles for all that they do for you each and every day. Bow forward, thanking yourself for taking this time to honor, celebrate, stretch, and love on your beautiful, strong, fluid body. Thank you so much for spending your time with me on the mat. Please throw the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you have been enjoying our yoga practices, I'd love for you to take a moment now to subscribe to our channel as that is one free and very easy way to help support our work. Now to get all eight practices in the Body Love series, hop over to the Awakened Members site and check them out with a 14-day free trial. I would love to connect with you there. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thank you.